We have some cancellations this weekend. That's okay. It happens. I think it's time for me to get a haircut a little earlier than last time. It's been so long since I had that really long hair, but it really hasn't even been that long. I feel like barely just shaved my head, but it's it's already been months. Anyways, there's cancellation day. We were gonna go. Well, I can't say it in front of Braley. Cancellation of hockey and snow tubing this weekend because Braley has thrown up six times today. Six times. All before noon. She hasn't been here for a while. She's She has kept down water recently and she's really and she's been in a pretty good mood all day. It's just that random moments of throwing up. Hopefully we're done with that. So, uh, since that's not happening today, let's talk about something that we haven't talked about yet, and that is the story of Braley's friendship with her friend Emma from school. I do have to take Norton to the groomers today. I guess we will just go through that story throughout the day. And so stick around because this is a good one. We gotta get Norton ready. It's groom day for Norton. Stacy and Bradley are just gonna stay home since Bradley's been throwing up and I'm gonna go take Norton in. Bradley's practicing her numbers. Braley is always practicing letters and numbers. Ready to go, bud? Who are you? You want to go to the groomer too, huh, bud? I don't think you'd like that very much, Nemo. No, I don't think so. All right, Braley, I gotta go. Feel better, okay? Will you feel better? Mm hmm. Back now, you're to go on the slime. So a win today, a pretty cool thing that actually came out of this. We like to keep track of positive things even on rough days. Braley actually took herself to the bathroom to throw up in the toilet. Nobody told her to do it. You just did it yourself, huh? That's pretty impressive. Yeah, it didn't. It only. It really only happened once, right? Twice. twice. She did it twice out of the six times. But still, that's some good stuff, Braley. Finding that bathroom. I appreciated it. <laughs> Norton, let's go. Bye, everybody. Bye. Buckle up, time. Good boy. Nudge. Why is there Christmas music playing? All right, Norton. It's groom time. You ready, bud? You look nervous. Don't worry. It'll be okay. So right now would be a good time to start talking about Braley's friend Emma. I would have to say they're best friends. I don't even know how to describe the friendship. It's just so amazing to see. I'm actually going to have Stacy tell the story of Emma and Braley and how their friendship came to be. I have no words. I really don't. I don't know what to say. For now, I'm going to show you this really short video of Emma's birthday supper. We were invited to go to Emma's birthday at a local restaurant. So we're like, let's surprise Emma because that would be fantastic, right? Emma had no clue that we were gonna be there. And we were, throughout the day, we were telling Braley, hey, we're gonna surprise Emma today. We're gonna go see her for her birthday. And we're gonna surprise her. We just kept re reiterating that throughout the day. So when we get there and we give her the assignment to surprise her, the most, I mean, this was the most wholesome, amazing thing that I can remember seeing. Just watch, just watch. Braley is about to surprise her best friend for her birthday. Okay, you ready? Say cheese. Cheese. Really big. Cheese. <laughs> 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 Happy birthday. 
I know that Stacy wanted to talk about their friendship, and so I will hold on to show more of the videos and pictures until then. So until then, I am just going to wait here and wait for Norton. How did Braylee do well I was going? Um, she threw up again. Right after eating. Yeah. She's tried to eat again. So that's so seven I times? Yeah. When did she recently, she ate again? Well, hopefully it's one of those 24 hour sicknesses. Hopefully. You can go say hi to Braylee with your clean self. All right, let's go. Oh, he smells so good. I'm just chilling, Braley, with the bucket. Uh, Watching music videos today. <sighs> now it's time for the relaxation station. It's time to sit down and talk about stuff. Got my breakfast PJs on. Got Stacy over here. Great. I don't know if you guys noticed we got a few new couches so that we can actually have people sitting places besides the floor when they come over. <laughs> yeah, look at that. A couch, a massive chair. This is this one is a good size for like, okay, I want to sit here. Really, I'll sit here because she likes to sit like right on top of us. And sometimes. then get the pressure. Yeah. So this one works for that. Or Brayla likes to lounge in her hammock long ways, her hammock swing thing. So she could fit this way too, here. Yep. So it's a good one. And then here's the love seat and that I'm currently in. We finally have our living room set up. Almost. Yeah. We've still got things to put on the walls. But. But we're getting there. Anyways, what were we talking about? We're talking about Brayley's friend, Emma. The story of their friendship. Let's see, let's see if Stacy's as good as a storyteller as I am. So, something that we struggled with when Brayla was in school in kindergarten was connecting with a lot of parents. As you guys know, we got in touch with Mia's mom, and so she had that friendship. I was hearing that there was a lot of the same few kids that Brayla was really getting along with, so I got on Facebook and put myself out there for Brayla's benefit because I realized we don't have the benefit that a lot of parents have that their kids can facilitate and make those relationships on their own. So we have to kind of help foster that for her. And she's getting to an age where David and I have had these discussions about, she loves spending time with us, but at that age, you want to hang out with other people besides mom and dad. <laughs> like mom and dad are only so cool. And maybe she doesn't care. It's important to have relationships outside of us. She hasn't, you know, given us any indicators, but we want to give her those opportunities as well. So I reached out to a mom and told her how our kids are getting along together really, really well, from what I understand, and asked if we could get them together. And so she was like super excited about it and was like, yeah, of course. And so we did, and Braylee and Emma have gotten together three times now outside of school. Their relationship is something so amazing and beautiful and it just, it warms my heart and sometimes brings tears to my eyes. There is nothing like it. I don't know how to explain their friendship. Emma is in Braley's class. So they get to interact during the day, especially during the special, so like art, music, PE, that sort of stuff. Outside of school, we've gotten to see Emma with her and Emma is so kind and considerate and she really she really cares for Braylee. She is just such a sweet kid and I love her to pieces and Braylee loves her. You can see that the, the feeling between the two of them is very much mutual and they just they love to be around each other and they're both always smiling together and they're always hugging and holding hands and Emma, I think, makes Braylee feel comfortable and confident in some places and situations where she might not be. And she's a great peer model for Braylee as well. You can see Braylee doing some stuff because Emma is doing it. And so, like in that sense, it's also really helpful. The first time that we got together with them was at our house. Emma and her mom came over 
I heard that they had game time during school. It was an indoor recess, so they were doing board games with peers. So her mom told Emma, oh, I heard you and Braley played games today. And she was like, how do you know that? And she was like, oh, Braley must have told her mom. And Emma looked at her and was like, Braley talks? Her mom looked at her like, what? <laughs> and so something along those lines is not <laughs> verbatim, but the really wholesome thing is that Emma didn't even think to explain to her mom like, oh, Braley's autistic and she is, you know, pre-verbal limited speech. And it's, it's really sweet that she didn't think that it was necessary, you know, that their relationship just works. It's like, like that common cliche phrase, love needs no words. So since we started hanging out with Emma, like it seems that they're just getting closer and closer and they want to be together all the time. This developing friendship is a big life event for sure. And it's kind of neat because in this case, Braley did pick her own friend. It's not just like, oh, one of my friend's kids, you know, or family member's kids. It's Braley got along with her at school and so we got them together and like that's Braley's friend. It's Braley's best friend. That's just great stuff. Now, I think we should go check on Braley. She's been laying in there watching her resting. TV shows, resting. Man, seven times in one day. That's a lot of throwing out. And David didn't have to clean it up once. MVP, MVP. We have our, we have our fingers crossed that that whatever that is will not translate to us too. I mean, I'll take it. I'll gladly take it from Braley. But if we all have to have it, I'm not. I'm not okay with that. I mean, it happens. There's worse things in the world. Yeah, but. I. I'm not I a pleasant really, thrower upper. I really just want her to be better so she doesn't miss more school for yeah. sickness this year. We've lost a lot of school days from sickness this year. Sickness and appointments. Ever since November, I feel like. Yeah, I'm hoping, uh, yeah, even then, I hope that it's not a long-term sickness because we have that sleep study that we've been waiting for for quite a long time. Yeah. Hoping we wake up tomorrow. I mean, she has no other symptoms. Maybe a little bit, like, on the lower energy side, but still, she's been running around and stuff today. So, I don't know. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Tell us your friendship stories or your kids' friendship stories because they're good. They're wholesome. Yes, I know, we don't respond to all of our comments, but we definitely are reading them. So please comment and comment yeah, your stories. Yeah, we're always reading them for sure. Even even when we don't have time to respond. Here's a picture of one, from when they went sledding. At school. At school. Braley? Yeah. Who's that? Who's this? Who is that? Bam. Yeah. Braley? Emma? Emma. 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 Braley? Yeah. Mm. Yeah.